Okay, where is this skeleton? He's going to die. <laughs> you two. You are going to die as well. Oh, no. They're cornering me. Okay, we're safe. For now. Alright, well the spawners are pretty much lit up. Those ones are at least. See if we can block in these ones here enough so that they can't get out. Where are you coming from? Okay. Okay, so this goes down even further. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Very unpleasant. Alright, so that should stop them. Okay, get more on the butt. Oh my goodness. Most of our armor is just dead. Okay, let's heal up. You know, I think doing it this way is probably actually better than our previous attempts of just going around. Or not. Ow. Okay. Let's get what gear we can. And head back down and get our stuff back. We do have a lot of iron there. Make use of it. What do we have? Okay, we need a helmet and chest plate. Okay, here we go. Suited up with some iron and diamond and uh, diamond pick and sword. Yeah, I'd say this place is mostly ours now. Like, there's not really. Uh... <laughs> like, look at this. This if this isn't safe, I have no clue what is. Because I mean, right here in particular, nothing can really spawn, so we should be fine. <clears throat> it is a bit. Uh... Oh, oh, that's not safe, though. There's our stuff. Right down there. What? Okay, this is not safe. I didn't light this up quite well enough. It's our helmet. Wow, our stuff went, like, everywhere. Everywhere it possibly could. However, we did get it all back, so in that regard, we're good. Right, so that skeleton spider in a fight, and while they're doing that, light this up. Now, oh, come on, spider trying to deal with this creeper. Man, this was harder than the last, like, the, the last wool, the black wool. This was harder than that. Seems like it's much harder than the black wool was. Whew have to be very careful. I don't want to under light, but I also don't want to try and over light. It's hard to tell with the brightness up. What's light and what isn't. Okay, we've definitely got a skeleton spawner here. Yeah, definitely. At least we have this diamond sword, though without it, I don't know how we'd do this. And diamond gear is nice, too. Okay, skeletons are in a fight. We're out of... we are out of coal and sticks. So, I, th I would imagine the wool is probably in there somewhere. But we're going to head back for now, and I'm going to go get some more 
wood and get some more coal and then we'll come back and try this take another try at this we've made good progress in here though we certainly have hey guys so I was just thinking while I was mining here and I was thinking I think when we go back we're just gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and check the pig because I'm fairly interested to see if there actually is something in that pig. It w wouldn't really actually make all that much sense for the pig to just be there and have absolutely nothing in it. Like, you'd expect there to be something in the pig. So, um, we're going to check him out and then we're going to head back down and see about getting that wool that we were working on when we were down there last time. Hey guys, so this is interesting. I just uh, harvested from my wheat farm and I noticed a big green thing sitting here in a mine cart. This slime is riding one of my mine carts. I didn't even know that was possible. Now let's give him a little push. Oh, ow. Ow. Okay, so let's uh, go around him and then proceed to give him a little push. Why do I have three minecarts here? No idea. Oh, come on. Button's right there. Come on. Aha! There he goes. Off on adventure. Anyways. So first thing we're doing, like I said, is we're gonna go to the pig. I am very curious to see if there's something in the pig or not. <clears throat> I'd think there's something in the pig. It's such a big object that there should be something in it. What is that little glass window? Is that Does that hold importance? Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go look at the... Uh, little glass window first. Let's uh, take that and just set it down somewhere. Okay, so it's over here, that little glass window. I'm wondering if there's something near it or around it or if it's just a window. Oh, it's not a window, it's a hole from where probably an Enderman took it. Okay. Well, yeah, let's go see if there's something in this pig. We're just going to, like, dig up through the leg. And hopefully there's something up there and it's not just a big waste of time. Good thing we have this diamond pick, though, to uh, help us dig faster. Okay, so we're pretty far up now. I don't see anything yet. There might not actually be anything up here. Might just be a big statue. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's something in the head. I see a chest, a couple chests. Alright. What do we have here? Oh, yes. Golden apple. Some wheat, that's nice. Okay, let's uh, chest this netherrack. We don't need it. Okay, well that's not bad. Now what's in the other one? Same thing, or...? Oh, certainly got dark. Oh, yes. And we have arrows now. That is epic. Okay. I still want to keep a spare bow. But, uh, I'm going to put that iron ingot away. Okay, so we have golden apples now. That's nice. Um, wow, that that is awesome that we found that. Alright, so we're almost back down to where we were before. Once we get down there, we'll... Uh, hopefully there's not too many mobs down there. I'd expect that there might be, though, so... We'll see what happens when we get down there. Of course. Skeleton. 
There's certainly probably a lot of spiders just inside of these. Unable to get out, of course. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, so here we are. This place needed a little bit more lighting, if I remember correctly. Just make sure, for sure. Yeah, this needed a little bit more lighting around here. And that could probably use a bit more. Just over around there and up there. That should be good now. Right now, how is this? I think this area was fairly well lit. Just back here is where the trouble began. Where we ran out of torches. Alright, so we can expect a whole ton of mobs because we've really, really restricted where they're allowed to spawn. Why am I hitting him with my bow? So I think what we might do here is we might try just building. Oh, why do I keep hitting him with my bow? I think it's because I had my sword on the one hotkey for a while there and just kind of got used to it. Alright, so I think we're just going to try and build across this because there's going to be too many mobs for us to really handle easily. Now, of course, there's a creeper right there. And a skeleton. And zombies. And multiple skeletons. Multiple zombies. Where's our uh, bucket of lava? Oh, right. Deal with you guys. There we go. Come on, die already. Okay. Gonna put barriers like this, bar it up for the uh, spiders. Anywhere I can avoid leaning over the edge. See, if I hadn't placed that block there like that, that skeleton would have shot me off the edge. and Well, I'd be dead. In the end, essentially. And I'd lose all this stuff. It's probably not the smartest thing to come out here like this with a bunch of stuff on me. Oh, I see void fog. That means we probably, we're probably getting really close to the wall. I see light over there in the corner of the screen. I see glass. There's... I think I see glass, at least. I think that's the wall. You know what? What if we just... go up? Can we just go up into the ceiling? <clears throat> Let's do that. Or no, I think I'm mistaken. No, that is the wool right there to our left. Actually, it's more more or less straight ahead of us, but it was on the left of the screen, so... Anyways. Okay. The moment we've been waiting for, getting close to the wool. What I'm actually doing right now is... I'm just gonna... I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up into the ceiling and build to it from the ceiling. Like, we're gonna dig through the ceiling. Okay, we need to light this up a bit. Let's actually light that up too. Alright, so here we go. We're just gonna dig up in the ce into the ceiling. As long as lava doesn't... I forgot about gravel. Okay, so we're limited to this height it seems. But we should just be able to dig right across, get right into that wall. Oh no! 
Don't kill me here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. No. Ah, oh, so much of my stuff just got burned up. Well, that was absolutely terrible. So, I think we probably lost a good portion of our good stuff there. So, I think what we're going to do is... We're almost at the wool, so we could probably just build a few things. I had all of my coal on me. I had all of my wood on me. I had everything on me. That was a very bad idea to have everything on me. Do we have any sticks and diamonds? Yes, we do. But um, I probably should have chested a lot of stuff that I didn't chest. So luckily, we're right beside the wool. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that stuff back. If I'm not... Oh well, really? We can just go back into the nether and get some. Hold on, we had just gotten those golden apples. We can get the gold, but we can't get the apples to make golden apples. So that's that kind of sucks. But uh, mm. yeah, that was a, a bit of a dumb thing to do. Just go in there with all my stuff. And I seen the hole like last second, right when I was starting to fall into it. I seen it, and I went to try and back up, and it was too late, and I just fell. <sighs> that was terrible. Now, mind you, some of our stuff that didn't fly towards the lava could have survived. So we might, what we might try and do, why in the world is my pickaxe way over there? What we might try and do is we might try and get in there and possibly... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you can't get me because you're a spider and you don't fit. Oh, you, you you two can get me, though. Oh, you can all get me now. Oh, oh, oh. Are we lucky? Are we lucky? I don't know yet. I can't tell if we're lucky yet or not. Okay, let's check. Oh, my goodness, we are lucky. Holy moly. We are very, very lucky. Very lucky. Wow. Oh my goodness. And our torches. We got our torches. We got our wood. We've got our lava bucket even. Wow, we have pretty much all of our torches actually. We have our diamond stuff. We have... Wow, I'm surprised. No. Wow, that was... Wow, all I can say is wow. I just said it twice. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so we know we have most of our stuff. I was fairly concerned that we had lost most of our stuff, but uh, we have most of it, so crisis averted, essentially. <laughs> okay, so let's go get that wool. Alright, now here's where we made our mistake, by falling into the hole. So this time, we'll stick on crouch, just stay crouched, and... Uh, for things just in case of something like this. And we should be almost at the wool now. So then after we get this wool, I want to see what color this is. Badly. I think it's brown. <laughs> so we know what color we're going for next. So uh we'll see. I think we're above it now. Or close enough to above it. So we should just be able to go this way and drop in. Okay. I think we'll just go right down. Okay, so this is blue. So I wonder where brown is. I thought that would be br brown, but I guess not. So... That means that where is brown? Hmm. Th that is a good question. Um. I'm not quite sure where brown would be. Okay, the main thing is that we got the blue wool. We got the blue wool, and we're heading out of here. <sighs> so. <laughs> sigh of relief there. Alright, so. First, first uh, order of business is back to the Victory Monument. Alright, so while I'm making my way out of here, I was thinking about where could the brown wool be, and honestly, I think 
shouldn't it be where it, uh, I would assume Dungeon 12, the one that just had the stick in the chest, but, because there are no other dungeons, that's like the only dungeon we haven't been to, because there can't be 17 dungeons, there just can't be 17 dungeons, because there's only 16 wool, and we've been to all of the dungeons except for that one, that's the only one we haven't gotten a wool from. So I'm wondering if any of the other chests that aren't, um, not the chest in the, in the glass box, but one of these, I'm wondering if one of these maybe has the wool in it. So I'm going to have to look through all of these chests to see if any of them have the wool. It's probably a long shot. There might not be any wool in any of them. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. At this point, with the amount of chests we've just gone through, I'm kind of doubting that there's any wool in any of them. But, uh, oh, um, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> hunch, hunch correct. Sweet. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, well, that means that we have all the wool. All the wool for the Victory Monument. We can now complete the Victory Monument diet. <laughs> Sweet. I can't believe I that was hmm it it makes sense too. I I I I thought it was a long shot. I wasn't really sure. I was just couldn't think of anywhere else that it could possibly be. But I guess it was actually in there. Okay, here we go. Our victory run. Let's sprint. This is the last two wolves of the map. All right, put in the backups. Here we go. Blue wool, brown wool. Monument complete. Now let's let's take a look at this from above. Tree in the way. There we go. Okay, monument is done. So that is Vex Super Hostile, Sea of Flame 2, complete. That was a really fun map. I like that. I enjoyed that. Hmm. <laughs> Looks so colorful when it's complete. Okay, so I really did this series was pretty awesome. I'm going to be, in the future, I'm going to be doing the rest of his maps over who knows how long it'll take, but I'll be doing all the rest of his maps, and uh, hopefully they'll be just as good as this one. Probably, I would hope, better. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, and I will see you next time.